Hello, my name is Andrew Bermudis, and I was the director and writer for Johnny Thunder and the Gift of the Nile. And my name is Daniel Bermudis, and I was the assistant director and assistant editor for the film. And today we are going to show you the production gallery for Johnny Thunder and the Gift of the Nile. And as a little note here, all the pictures are in the order that the movie was filmed in, so let's get started. Okay, we are starting here with the short school scene at the beginning of the film where Dr. Kilroy introduces the events of scene one in the historical prologue. We didn't really do much here, it was just about one day of filming that we did here. And here is Dr. Jim Carew's office in the Lego Town Museum. And you can see in this photo right here, in this close-up of the office, we kind of made things a little cluttered here. In the movie, if you look at the computer screen, he try to see which website he's logged on to. Okay, here is the uh, Lego Town Museum where a majority of the museum sequences were filmed, both exterior and interior. Um, I'd just like to take a moment to thank everyone who's involved in this film. Here is the airport scene where Johnny Pippin and Sarah meet Dr. Kilroy and Harry Kane. And then they fly off and head off to adventure. Now, we had a little bit of trouble here getting some of the shots, especially up in the control tower, which is so high up, but thanks to our camera truck, we were able to achieve these shots. So, we were really glad that the scene turned out really well. Okay, here we are in Siberia, filming a sequence that takes place in... Siberia. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, Daniel wasn't really involved with this scene. Yes, so I was on second unit, so I was not directly involved, but... Even though I was not involved in this scene, this was a real good scene. Got the villains back together, introduced some new villains. Um, one of my personal favorite scenes in the film. Here we are, filming our first sequence in Egypt. Very exciting day. It was the first of what would be a long shoot in Egypt. It was very hot that day. Yeah, um, some of the crew members passed out. Others were just panting, and it was really miserable. But we got the scene done. Here is a house we built out in the desert to film in as the Egyptian hut. Here's a small mock-up that we created for the chamber that holds the heart of Osiris. Now this set here is very interesting. This is an entire pharaoh's palace set with all sorts of rooms including exterior and interior sets as well as a small throne room and a little judgment chamber where the trial is held. Okay, moving into the modern era, here we have the set for the Windsor Hotel, a much smaller set than it appears in the film. We film practically every aspect and angle of this particular set. There's the fountain that turned to blood. Or... Actually, the pipes just corroded. <laughs> okay, here is the hotel room, or hotel rooms, I should say, a set that we built. One room with Johnny and his friends talking, the other room for the villains to hide out in and listen to their conversation and therefore find out about the treasure. And oh my goodness, there is Dracula right there. Oh yeah, that's right. Fortunately, he did not kill any people this time, so we're grateful that we had other mishaps, but he didn't kill anybody. He was, however, a very good location manager. He found some great sets, including here, which is downtown Cairo. This was very interesting because we had to work around the general public. Fortunately, they acted pretty natural as we're filming outside the Egyptian museum here. This is for scene six where they first go into the Egyptian museum and also where the beginning of the bus chase takes place. Here's a picture that was taken shortly before filming the beginning of the bus chase sequence, which is one of the most action-packed parts of the film took up a huge part of Cairo we filmed it. Okay, here's one of the fruit stands we actually constructed so it gets smashed down. Yeah, and there wasn't much in the way of stunts, so most of what we did was have people jump out of the way and people run off screaming. Well, most of the stunt work we left to the professionals. Some of it was especially useful in this uh, scene, which was filmed around um, Midan Kamal, which is one of the traffic circles in Cairo. And this was kind of an action-packed scene. It was kind of difficult to film here because of how tight everything was. A majority of the filming was done around the uh, traffic circle uh, Andrew just mentioned. Um, we filmed the scene. It took us about how many days to film the sequence? Mm, probably about 10. 10 days. 10 days of intensive filming, action, stonework, and it was hot. So this was one of the more demanding shoots that we did. 
Yeah, and this little track that you can see in this photo here was made especially for this movie. It's a rig to hold the cameraman so that he could get impressive tracking shots of the bus. That's how we were able to achieve some of the scenes that you see in the movie. Here is another set that we filmed on in Cairo. This one was pretty short. All we did was just film around the corner. This was mostly for dialogue reasons more than for action reasons. Here's another shot of a section of road that we filmed the action sequence on. If you notice, the bus roof is smashed in. As we progressively filmed the sequence, we paid someone to mangle that bus. Take Basically, take it from a working bus and turn it into just a total piece of sheet metal. Here is the bridge going over the Nile where the Russian jeep takes a dip in the Nile. And here is the ground and a small building right outside Cairo Tower and this scene is mainly here just to show that um, the villains know that about the treasure and that Johnny needs to beat them. After filming the uh, Cairo chase sequence we didn't film in the interior of the Cairo Museum the interior sequences. Here is the main entrance area when the adventurers make their big entrance. And then for this scene, I did a little joke where there's little um, treasure hidden around here. Like, for example, you can see in one area of the museum, I have the Ark of the Covenant set up as a little joke. Here's one of the big action shots of the film. The interior fight inside the Cairo Museum. We broke a lot of stuff. Not any real Egyptian artifacts, but stuff we built ourselves back in the sound stages. Here's uh, the balcony we blew up in the film. It's the same balcony we, where we are introduced to the villain Sly Boots. Yeah, um, don't worry that we um, fixed up the balcony and um, sent us about a, a million over budget, but it's okay. Um, we were just holding to promises and such, and we still got the movie made, as you may know. Here is inside the storage room where we first get introduced to Dr. Hiram Aziz. Now, there was a mummy on a preservation carton here. He was supposed to appear in the movie, but um, but because of the um, direction and such, we were not able to put him into the movie. So here's a little picture of him on the preservation cart. 